Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I have my top 10 budget friendly knives. So I figured the holidays are coming up and I was thinking I could help you guys figure out a, a good knife for you to purchase for either your friends, your family, or your significant other as a gift for the holidays. So you could either wrap it or better yet, a perfect stocking stuffer. So with these knives, just from my experience and in my own opinion, I think these are some great knives for the price. So some of you guys might have some different opinions, but that's all right. So I'm going to share what I think is some really, really good knives. And I hope I can make your guys' decision just a little bit easier. So I chose a few knives that actually have a different type of deployment mechanism. So we have an axis style, we have a auto flipper, thumb studs, we've got a slip joint, and we have a push button. I was gonna do a front flipper, which is the Damn Designs Ani, which is a great front flipper, but it didn't make it in my top 10 because unfortunately at the moment they are out of stock on the budget friendly ones, which is $40. Really, really great knife. I believe I did a review on this. I'll leave a link up at the top. You guys can check it out if you guys haven't already. But if you're willing to spend an extra 40, you can get the carbon fiber one, I believe, in a better steel. I, I believe it's S35VN. But in the future, if you're looking for a nice little front flipper, then I will put it in down in the links below and you guys can check it out. Sweet little knife. So I'm just gonna go pretty quick over the specs and just give you a quick, just a quick run through on all these blades. I don't wanna be talking too much, so let's just get to it. We'll start with the SRM 9211GJ. Now this is an axis style blade, as you guys can see. This SRM comes with a 8CR. 13 MOV steel blade. The blade is 3 and 9 16 Handle is 4 and 3 quarters. And it's got a total length of 8 and 3 8 The handles are G10 and it comes with a black G10 backspacer. I believe it comes in two other colors. This is going for $23 on Amazon. So again, just a really good budget knife. Semi-decent deep carry. You can spidey flick this knife you can do the thumb flick or just use the axis lock to close it and open it I did do a further review on this knife so if you guys wanted to check that out I'll leave a link up here in the corner you guys can check it out just a little more in depth about this knife but just great ergos again budget friendly and just a really really good blade for the money Next up, we have the Boker Mini Strike. Now, this is an auto from Boker. This has a D2 steel blade. The length of that is 2 and 5 eighths. Handle length is 3 and 3 quarters. And it's got a total length of 6 and 3 eighths. Just a little bit smaller than the SRM. Now, this is an auto style blade, which has the button here which allows you to deploy the blade when you need it. And it is super snappy. It's got a nice stone wash finish. And you do have the option to lock the blade in. So if you do push the button, it won't close on you. And then also when it is closed, you can activate the lock so that way it doesn't fly open in your pocket or by accident, which I believe rarely happens. Now this plate is going for $35 on bladehq.com. I actually got this a couple weeks ago because that was just a really, really good deal for an auto. So if you're not familiar with autos and you want to get a feel for it, I highly recommend this blade since it is on sale and again, just a great quality blade. Super, super nice. It's got the aluminum scales on both ends. 
I believe they're milled with a nice little diamond texture and then these little grooves for added grip. And the jimping on this blade is pretty aggressive but they did round it off so it makes it really really comfortable when you're holding this blade. Just a really great knife all around and an amazing price for an auto. So pick this up if you are a fan of autos or, or are even interested in one. So highly recommend that. Next up is the Harns Wind. This is a flipper style blade. It's got a Sandvik 14C 28 inch steel. The length on that is three inches. The handle length is four inches. And the total length is seven inches. So it's a good size blade. Really good ergos for a sleek and thin blade. It's got yellow G10 scales with a yellow G10 backspacer, deep carry pocket clip, and a satin finish on the blade. Now this blade is riding on ball bearings. So when you deploy this with the little flipper tab, it just flies right out. And it's super smooth. Even when you close it, the drop shut on it is insanely good due to those bearings. This blade is going for $36 on Amazon. And I think this blade is just a really sleek design and very minimal when you put it in your pocket. So if you're looking for a thin and minimal pocket knife or you think someone needs one, I highly recommend this blade. Next up we have a really popular blade from CRKT and that is the Pilar. This has a stainless steel blade. The blade length is 2 and 3 eighths, handle length is 3 and 3 eighths, and a total length of 5 and 3 quarters. So it's not a crazy big knife, so it does fit in the pocket nicely. It does have a finger hole for deployment, so you can slow thumb roll it. You can use your thumb to have it fly out, or you can do what a lot of people really like to do with this blade is the spidey flick. So very high fidgeting factor with this blade. Now this blade is one that I customized, so it doesn't come like this. I believe it's a sandblasted finish on the scales and a satin finish on the blade. So it's a lot more, it's a lot more simple than this one. Very, very clean look to the to the original style on the Pilar. And due to this big finger toil here, it's got really really good ergos even for people with large hands so just an all-around great blade and this blade is going for $23 on Amazon so just a really good deal on a really cool knife it does not have a deep carry pocket clip but that is not an issue it goes in there fairly deep you guys can see you may be having this much stick out of your pocket you got a nice little lanyard hole and you can also adjust the pocket clip to tip down carry. I just happened to cover it with some copper, but you do have that option originally. Definitely one of my top favorite knives in my collection. I highly recommend this blade to people who want to start off carrying a blade. Just a really simple and easy to clean and maintain blade. Really cool blade. Next up is another thin and simple design blade. This is the Civivi Chronic and this is also a flipper style blade. It's got a 9CR 18MOV steel blade and the length on it is 3 and 3 sixteenths. Handle length is 4 and a quarter and a total length of 7 and 3 eighths. So just a little bit bigger than the Harns Wind but it does remind me a lot of that blade. So it's really comfortable due to the simple design of the handle shape. It is a liner lock style blade and this blade is riding on ball bearings which again makes it super smooth. The drop shut on it is insanely smooth and even smoother when you deploy it. It's got a nice clip point style blade and a nice hollow grind so it makes it super super slicey. I've actually used this as my personal steak knife 
and it's come in handy many many times for dealing anything with food really since that blade is so so thin this blade is the most expensive in the lineup and it's just under 50 going for $49 on Amazon so again a simple design with quality material from Civivi which I love their products they always pump out good knives it's got a deep carry pocket clip blue G10 scales and a G10 backspacer that matches the scales as well next up is the Civivi fracture another great knife by Civivi now this is a slip joint style blade so you have a half stop before you lock it into place this blade has an 8CR 14 MOV steel blade the length on that is 3 and 3 eighths handle length is 4 and a quarter and a total length of 7 and 5 eighths so just a little bit bigger than the, the chronic that I just mentioned again slip joint great half stop and then a really really firm shut when you close this blade I like the way it feels it's just it's really 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 sturdy it's got black g10 scale handles and the lockup bar is a solid piece of steel deep carry pocket clip and a nice stone wash finish on the blade it has really good ergos very comfortable in the hand a Tonto style blade and definitely on the thinner side so this is a good knife to EDC since it is so thin and light now these blades were a limited run and I was surprised to find these on KnifeCenter.com, but they're still going for the asking price when they first came out of $28.50. So just a really, really good deal on this blade. If you're looking to get a rare knife or just add a really great blade to your collection, I highly recommend this blade. So get it while you can. Next I have the CRKT Tuna. One of my favorite knives from CRKT. Just a really simple and good looking knife. I just love the shape of this blade. And with this blade, you deploy the blade with two thumb studs so you can either use your left or right hand. Now there are three ways to open this blade so you can thumb flick it, slow roll it, or you can do the spidey flick. It's the same as the Pilar, so you have those three options. Nice stone wash blade. This blade is a 8CR 14 MOV steel blade with a length of three and a quarter. Handle length is four and three eighths. And the total length is seven and five eighths. So it's a good size blade. Very comfortable from the simple design. And then you have this nice little contoured edge here where your fingers can fall in nicely and get a good grip. Just a really good purchase on this, on this blade. And you do have a little bit of jimping here on top so your thumb has something to dig into now this blade is going for $45 on either knife center or blade HQ whichever one you prefer but they are the same price and again just a really good deal on a on a great knife from CRKT it's got a deep carry pocket clip it is a frame lock blade a G10 handle, an aluminum backspacer with a orange coating, same with the pivot collars. Just a all around great knife. This is the one I use quite often and I beat up on it a little bit as you guys can tell. But it is a great knife and I believe it's riding on nylon washers. So easy to maintain if it does get gunked up. Not too much going on to take apart and keep it clean. Just a really, really good blade from CRKT. The next knife on the list is the Spyderco Ambitious. Now this blade is another one of my favorites only because it's just got a nice fidgeting factor to it so you can spidey flick this blade all day. Slow thumb roll it or give it a nice thumb flick to deploy the blade one of their Chinese models but again just a really great blade and I love the shape of this thing 
especially for how small it is. This is, I believe, a 8CR 13 MOV steel blade. A length of two and a quarter. The handle length is three and a half, and a total length of five and seven eighths. So it's a, so it's definitely a smaller blade, but due to the ergos on the handles, you have a extended finger trail here. It's not deep or anything, but it is extended, so you can get a really good purchase on this blade, especially with that little hump here on the top of the blade itself with very aggressive jimping but it does not hurt your finger and this blade is going for $44 on Amazon it does come with a pocket clip but unfortunately I broke mine so right now at the moment it doesn't have one but when I do carry it in my pocket it's very light and don't I don't really notice that it's there so it's good in that aspect that it's a very light blade and it does the job for whatever your daily task is. And this blade rides on two copper bushings. This is another blade that I recommend for a beginner who wants to carry a knife. And since the blade is so short, I believe it's California legal, so again, just a highly recommendable blade. Next up is one of my favorite knives from Cubby. This is the Cubby Chubby and I really like this blade because it's just super smooth when you deploy it with the flipper tab and that's due to the ball bearings that it's riding on. Now this has a D2 blade steel with a length of 2 and 3 eighths. The handle length is 3 and 7 eighths and a total of 6 and a quarter. So again, not a crazy big knife, but it's definitely got some heft to it, and it's just really wide, so it's got it's got a really, really good feel in the hands. It's got gray G10 scale handles with uh, baby blue pivot collars. It's not a deep carry, so you'll be looking at this much out of your pocket, which isn't crazy. It actually kind of looks pretty cool when it's sticking out of the pocket. And a, I believe a stainless steel backspacer with a nice linear hole here. And I forgot to mention most of the blades, pretty much every blade on the table has a lanyard hole. So getting back to this, it's a liner lock. It's got some jimping on there so you can, you can get easy access to the liner to drop the blade shut. Again, super smooth. And one of my top favorite knives in my collection Due to the fact that it's smooth and it's very budget friendly so if you're looking for a knife to really take some abuse and beat up on I highly recommend this blade this is a serious serious knife for its size and its price this is uh, another knife that I like to recommend when people are starting off and last but not least is the CRKT TIG TAC 2 now this blade is a very interesting blade because it has three ways of opening this blade so you have the push button so you push down on it and it flies right open or you can close it so that's one way you have a flipper tab here flies right open and then you also have left and right thumb studs for left or right hand deployment and this thing does fly right out because it is riding on ball bearings so it's just super smooth action this blade is a stainless steel blade with a length of 3 and 3 eighths, handle length of 4 and 5 eighths, and a total length of 8 inches. So it's a pretty big blade, and it is comfortable, but there is one hot spot here, right here at the bottom. If that was in there, I, th I think it would have perfect ergonomics. But again, just not too big of a deal, but it does kind of does kind of let you know that it's there. It's got GRN handles with interesting textures and designs, a deep carry pocket clip, and a Tonto style blade. Actually, a serious Tonto style blade, so very, very pointy. And this blade is going for $40 on Amazon, so just a really 
interesting knife for a push button lock style blade and again this does have those three options so kind of getting three deployment options on one blade which is nice so that way you can get a feel for what you prefer on a blade also if you guys have any questions about these blades feel free to comment down below and i will do my best to answer those questions all right so there are my top 10 budget friendly blades for the holidays and I, I hope I was able to give you guys a better understanding on the different deployment options you have on these blades. I also hope that I made your decision a little bit easier on what you're going to get your friends, family, or significant others. And again, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to share this video just in case somebody's looking for some gift ideas this year for Christmas. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.